We're going to take a look at the multi-dimensional nature of this case, how it affects you, how it affects the industry as a whole, what it means for the future of real estate, real estate prices will be impacted by this, the whole inner workings and outer workings of the real estate industry could be changed dramatically. When I say this, this is not clickbait. This is not hype. This is a big, big deal. So let's go into it. Well, some of the headlines include this one, an earthquake just hit the real estate industry as class action ruling comes down. The only question is, a big or a small quake. The National Association of Realtors, their chief legal officer said, quote, this will have major consequences on the real estate industry and the profession for years to come. Now, National Association of Realtors, why are they important? Well, I am not a member of NAR, but I was for half of my career. I was required to be a member of NAR for half of my career. And in about 2005, when I sold my traditional real estate company to Coldwell Banker, I did not continue as a member of NAR, but I could have. And, you know, there's good reason to say that maybe they are a cartel. We will get into that and kind of examine both sides of that. Okay, let's keep going here with some of the headlines. So I tweeted this yesterday or Exit, I guess you could say, a Missouri jury finds NAR and several big brokerages guilty of conspiring to inflate commissions. After two weeks of testimony, the Kansas City jury found NAR, Home Services, and Keller Williams guilty of collusion to keep commissions high. Now, probably most people listening in the public, if you're not in the industry, you probably think commissions are too high. And I don't disagree with you. I think the commissions really are too high just because of the way the industry evolved. But I'm also going to tell you about why I think the commissions have to be high because this industry is so dysfunctional. It's a dis functional industry. And I'm going to propose to you in this video some possible solutions for uh, making it less dysfunctional. So this is other breaking news. Breaking new lawsuits filed against Compass, EXP World Holdings, Redfin, Weikert, United Real Estate, Howard Hanna, Douglas Elliman. We had, we had the president of Douglas Elliman on the show before, and she talked about a lot of things that were going on in the industry during the COVID era. The suit names the National Association of Realtors as a defendant. So immediately after this verdict came down, a whole bunch of other lawsuits were filed. And there are going to be many more. This could easily, I could easily see this in a few years at the Supreme Court of the United States, changing the real estate industry possibly forever. The, the significance of this case cannot be understated. It is a very, very big deal. Okay, so what happened? Well, you know, this federal jury in Kansas City found that NAR, the National Association of Realtors, which, by the way, is the largest or one of the largest trade lobbying organizations in the entire world with, I think, about 1.6 million members now. And some of these largest brokerages, they said they have colluded and they fined them $1.78 billion. And this is not just $1.78 billion. You know, there is one thing that could just massively disrupt the real estate industry. And it's not this case specifically, but it's what might come out of this case. And I'm going to tell you at the end, this could have huge financial impact on you, your real estate, your life. I mean, it's just such a big deal. But this case really is not a $1.8 billion case. It's over five billion dollars because of this trouble damages issue okay so here is an interesting video from cnbc let's just listen to a couple clips of this this is the lawyer that won the case and a real estate person arguing with him about the case so let's just take a look at this for a moment all right so what does the ruling mean for the industry at large and maybe what you pay for a home where do we go from here joining us now on set is Bess friedman she is the ceo of brown harris stevens and a member of the national association of realtors and michael ketchmark 
the lead attorney of that lawsuit representing 500,000 homeowners in Missouri. Best of Michael, thank you for joining us. So why is he representing 500,000 homeowners in Missouri? Well, because they achieved getting class action status. The court awarded them class action status. So this represented just these people in Missouri, but this will now become a national issue. Remember, you know, the, the amount of transactions every year in the United States are four, you know, approximately four to six million transactions. So this is ginormous. This case is so big and it's so wide reaching. It's here. Uh, first to you, uh, Michael, what, what, what is big settlement here? 1.8 or verdict, I should say, $1.8 billion. First up, where does that money go? Is, is money going to be kicked back to people who bought homes or where? Sure. I mean, we view it as a day of accountability. And I told the jury, this case is simple. It comes down to premises. I learned when I was in kindergarten. If you take something that doesn't belong to you, you give it back. The money will be returned to the homeowners. Well, that's not really true, as we know, because the lawyers will get most of the money. <laughs> so, you know, let's see how much the homeowners actually get. Maybe they'll get a free, like, cell phone charger or a Starbucks gift card. You know, like, that's that's the way this stuff really works in real life, sadly, because the legal system is a complete epic scam but that's another discussion for another day that were the victims of this rigged system it's been going on in our country for about 100 years and it stops today and, and we're going to hold these um th these corporate real estate companies and national association of realtors accountable for their conduct and i understand you are ready or have already filed more lawsuits yeah the day that the, the minute that that verdict was was came in we we filed the lawsuit against the national association of realtors and these other large corporate real estate companies to bring the same relief nationwide and we expect the damages damages in those cases to be in excess of 100 billion dollars and look, so think about that 100 billion dollars now obviously it's going to be appealed that will take years to work its way through the system but maybe the total value of all these real estate companies is like i don't know 40 50 billion dollars or something there's no way they could pay this, right? If there's a hundred billion dollar award, it's just, it's just impossible to pay. We are wasting right now about fifty billion dollars a year in wealth that's being taken out of the pockets of homeowners and transferred over to these corporate machines that have taken over real estate, and it's got to stop. Corporate. And that's see, see, that's the thing that's interesting about this. You know, the money they sued for and then you know won, it's not in the hands of the brokerages really. Most of that ends up in the hands of the individual real estate agents. Look, I owned a traditional real estate brokerage for eight years. And let me tell you something. I made way more money as a salesperson for Remax. I was one of the top Remax agents in the entire world. I worked there for 12 years, right? And I did extremely well. And I always thought, well, you know, I want to own the brokerage to move up the ladder, right? And I did do that. But I came to find that being a top agent is much more lucrative than being an owner of a brokerage. Because, you know, the, the brokerage gets a smaller portion of that commission of that pie. So most of this money has already been transferred to the agents, right? NAR, you're going to hear him talk about how much they receive in dues. It's just not even that much really compared. I mean, it's a lot, of course, because it's a huge organization, but compared to the amount of money at stake here, it's it's really not that much. So let's listen. Association of Realtors takes in almost a quarter of a billion dollars in fees. Quarter of a billion dollars in fees every year, right? So, you know, then they spend that on lobbyists and they lobby Congress, right? From local real estate agents because they have a stranglehold on the market.